Hey folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business, and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to talk about employee security. Uh, this is an excellent subject. It's such a great feature in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Uh, I've, I've encountered stores at both ends of the spectrum. Some stores have really maybe only a few employees or very trustworthy employees or maybe they're family members and so you don't really need all that much security because everybody really has the store at heart and is is going great. I've also encountered the other end of the spectrum. Unfortunately, I've seen stores and boutiques where the employees are just getting one over on the owners. They're they're stealing money out of the drawer, they're stealing merchandise off the floor. I mean, things are crazy. I get into the point of sale, nothing makes sense because uh, there's no security on and everybody's doing something different. And I don't know if it's a lack of training, but, but they've also, I mean, some of the employees are just not great employees. Uh, so this is up to you to decide whether you need to turn security on for your employees so you can either A, track what they are doing, or B, uh, kind of cordon off things that they can't do as maybe the lower employees, maybe only the managers can do certain things. And so let's take a look at this. Before we do, I'm gonna have you click in the link in the description down below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group and join up there. You can ask any questions you want about errors or more about employee security or request a video for this channel. I'd be happy to see you in our Facebook group and uh, I will be there waiting for you. <laughs> all right, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. Let's take a look here. First, I'm gonna make a quick pit stop under preferences and company. And right here on general, there is a check mark that you need to turn on and that is to require users to log in. The security setting for employees will not makes sense if people are not logging in so you will want them to log in and have that check mark on you can see right now that i am in as sysadmin which has all the rights to do everything and it just makes sense because we want to look at a few things i'm going to make our second stop right here on the employee list and i will bring up an employee and you can see here there's a drop down for security group these are the four default security groups and they all have different rights and regulations associated with them. So maybe we want to assign Samantha as an assistant manager. And I'll hit save. And then the next place we are going to go is also under employees. That was employee list. Now we want to look at security. So if I go into security, I can see that there are four groups with a bazillion different check marks. Uh, the owner obviously has the most rights to do whatever they want. And you've got manager and assistant manager and associate. Uh, in the next video or a future video, I'm going to cover exactly what you're going to want to do if you want to change any of these rights. For the most part, a lot of people might be just fine with uh, having these groups here and assigning their current employees to the different groups. And uh, there's just some special things you want to know if you are going to make, add, or remove rights here. And so check out that next video about that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You're going to want to assign your different employees to these different groups so that they can or cannot do uh, different stuff. I think I was, I was just wondering about the owner group here. I feel like... Oh, nope, they have every single check mark. I think there is maybe a thing or two that sysadmin can do that the owner cannot do, even though it's not listed here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it was. Anyway, we're going to do some further investigation and overview in employee security rights in the near future. Check out the next couple videos coming out. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If you want to leave a comment down below, go ahead and do that. I'd be happy to answer some questions. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and hit the like button. You have yourself a stupendous day. Bye-bye.